This call is being recorded. 911, please state the nature of your emergency. Good morning. I actually think that uh, my house may have been shot. I don't know if this is the number I'm supposed to call. Yeah, so I guess you can say it's not every day that you um, wake up to uh, bullets in your house. So, <laughs> I don't know, man. Wife wakes up this, this morning, I'm making coffee downstairs, and she's like, what happened in our closet? And I'm like, I, I don't know. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean, what happened in our closet? Apparently, um, my house and my neighbor's house got uh, a spray of bullets. Not really a spray. Um... There's one bullet that was on the floor in our closet that came from the outside. Um, on the back side, kind of like, I don't know, it's weird. And then the police actually thought that the bullets came from our neighbor's house into our house. And so far, they can't really say too much, but so far, they're thinking that the um, uh, their house was hit and my house, which is pretty messed up. So, anyways... Yeah, that's it. So, uh, now that the officers left, I'll show you what happened. So, this morning, on RC Guy Garage, so this is actually the back side of my house, and that hole, which is right there in the center of the shot, not sure if how well you can see it, that is the entry point. What had happened was early this morning, I'm making coffee. My wife is inside the closet. She, you know, she got up and she's doing her thing and she comes in here and inside the closet to go ahead and get her clothes. Well, she sees this on the ground. There's actually a pair of pants attached to that right there. Here is actually where we potentially think some of the debris went. Plaster had actually flung on this side, but this is the uh, this is the remnants. My wife had noticed like all this plaster on the floor, and then she uh, moved the clothes, and there's a hole. So obviously we kind of figured out what it was. We uh, we did have to call you know the police just because that's what happens. You know, it's just not normal. Or should I say it's not every day that, you know, you wake up to a uh, bullet hole through your house. I had figured out that, I think it was these, these hangers right here got sprayed with the uh, plaster. And this hanger right here is the one that actually got hit. So, and you can actually see, I think, where is it? Right there. Right, where is it? Right there is literally where the bullet came in and struck the very corner of this hanger. Obviously blowing, you know, I'm assuming the hanger onto the ground with the article of clothing. Um, but yeah, so like I said, it's not every day that uh, your house gets sprayed with bullets. Again, like I said, not sprayed. Who am I to speak on gun safety? I'm not anybody to speak on gun safety, but I guess what I can say is that, you know, it's, it's a lesson to be learned. That um, if you want to own a gun, you have to be careful, man. This was obviously what's called an accidental discharge, but the issue is, is that there was no follow-through. It was obviously an exit out of somewhere let's just say this the bullet exited something not just the gun but it exited potentially where the gun was housed let's just say it that way and i think what the miss was the miss was just 
The individual that had the accidental discharge didn't follow through. And uh, potentially all of this could have been, um, I guess, dealt with or handled in a different way. Or there may have been uh, more of a pre preventative if the individual that had the accidental discharge, if they would have at least, you know, uh, I guess, followed through. Just made sure that everything was cool after the accidental discharge. And I mean, who knows? Maybe the individual was scared. Maybe they thought that, you know, uh, if I alert individuals for the fact that I have an arsenal, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, we'll just leave it at that, that uh, there could be potential issues or whatever, but that's also the risk that you take. So being a gun owner, um, just be careful. Uh, accidents are accidents, and obviously that's how I'm taking it, but you still, it's, it's technically, I know that they say it's a right, but it's also, it's also a right that can be taken away from you if you're not careful enough, or if you don't follow all the follow through, like if that makes sense, like, you know, so anyways, everybody's safe, everything's good. Um, I think the clothing, you know, took the brunt of the, uh, took the brunt of the issue. I was joking with my wife saying, Hey, you, uh, you wear bulletproof, uh, clothing. <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah, that's it. So that's just my little update from RC guy garage and, uh, gun owners just be safe out there and make sure you follow through if you have an accidental discharge because it is kind of important. So We'll see you out there. Just get out there and rip it. It's not every day that the president of the uh, HOA's house gets shot by a uh, stray bullet. But when you do, you make sure it's your neighbor that does it. <laughs>